How's it going traders? Your boy TJ is back with another video. I first started off trading depositing five to a thousand dollars. However, I've also flipped a small account into a huge size account. Everyone wants to know how to grow a small account. Well, this is the video that you need to watch. I'm going to give you the top tip how to slowly but surely compound and grow that small account into a hundred thousand dollars if you guys are new around here make sure to like and subscribe i upload monday wednesday friday plus shorts every single day on this channel the grind is real i appreciate all the support but without further ado let's go make some money baby anyone can flip a small size account but it's very risky the reason why is because you're using big risk over leveraging over margining and you can get called out lose all the money in the account and it's not the safe way to trade but it's one way to flip an account i've done a 500 to 30,000, which is on youtube on the channel you can check it out obviously but in the end of the day crazy crazy flip i wouldn't <laughs> recommend trading like this a lot of people tend to trade like this and it can only create bad habits for your future now if you're being taught when you first start trading to flip small size accounts to try and get rich quick then this is going to have a massive negative effect on you in the long run it's hard once you make them bad habits they you know in the end of the day once they're there it's hard to get rid of them what people tend to do is instead of flipping the account they use 10% risk out of the equity of the account meaning they have a few tries before the account blows. this is probably one of the quickest and fastest ways to get rich quick I wouldn't recommend it as you can end up losing all your money <laughs> Prop firms are another great alternative when looking to get rich quick. You can literally deposit $220 for a 25k funded account. Obviously, obviously you have to pass phase one and phase two, which can be hard depending on what prop firm you use. If you guys are looking to use a prop firm, the Forex Fund link is down below in the description. Make sure to check the firm out. New engine, leaderboards, 24-7 support, bi-weekly payouts. 8% is phase one, phase two is 5%. And this is what I was trying to say. It can be quite difficult passing these challenges, but with risk management, they, it is doable and it's very, very achievable. Depending on what prop firm challenge you use, the rules do vary, but the reward can be great. A student of mine called Will from a 25K account made $3,700 withdrawal. He withdrew that into his bank account 19 years of age from only a 25K account. That works out to be around 15, 18% profit that he made on the account following the free trading group. Link is down below in the description. This is another positive way to grow a small account as such because it is very difficult to flip a $200 account into 5,000, 10,000, even $20,000. This is another alternative for you guys to grow your small Forex accounts into big, big accounts. Once you get payout on these challenges, you can then buy a new challenge account, which could be 50K, 100K, 200K, 400K. 1% on a 400K account is $4,000. Only 1%. If Will made 15% to 18% on a 400K account, the guy would nearly have made six figures in his first trading month, which is why is probably the best option for most people out there. Compounding the small Forex accounts can only be done if you have good psychology and are very self-disciplined. Keeping a live account is tricky. If you know how to trade and you trade correctly with a smart trading plan in place, therefore you're not over trading, you're not following into more positions, so you're not taking more losses slash more risk on the trade. If you can do this and then every single month you get paid or you have a side hustle that makes money, you put the money into a live account and slowly but surely compound that account to six figures. Once it's on six figures, you're laughing. It is important to have a live account with trading. Very, very important. Don't just rely on prop firm challenges because nine times out of ten you can actually lose these challenges or you'll lose the funding account, which is even worse off. But the markets are unpredictable with a live account. You don't have to follow the rules of these prop firm challenges, these companies that they put in place. You can extend your SL, maybe carry some more drawdown if need be. If you have a psychological level SL, set it there in your mind and then close out if it comes. But if it doesn't, 
drawdown is a, is a fear factor. People are scared to be in drawdown. Don't be scared to be in drawdown. If you can read the market and get market structure very well, then you should be able to make so much money from trading. It doesn't matter if you actually get drawdown. There's a lot of traders out there with live accounts who will be in thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of dollars worth of drawdown, even on, let's say, a 100K account. But they know if the trade goes maybe minus 40 pips more than they thought it was going to be, they know their trade's gonna come in profit and go into nice profits in the end of that trade. So it's all about having you know good psychology, being able to control your emotions whilst trading, which is all down to experience. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video. Three tips in order to grow the small Forex account into a big one. I managed to be a successful trader. I managed to flip $500 into $30,000. I've also lost a lot of money flipping. There's probably 500 pounds here, a thousand pounds there. But obviously, in the end of the day, to get rich quick, you do have to take risks in order to succeed. You do have to take risks in order to succeed. Scared money doesn't make money. If I was you, I would buy a prop firm challenge. However, if you guys want to compound and grow them small forex accounts on the live servers, then please do so. Just remember, have good psychology, control the emotions, and don't be scared to hold in drawdown. On these live accounts, if you, have a, if you have a mental SL, you should be fine. If you can read charts and actually trade, then, you know, that's most of the battle. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As I said at the start, like and subscribe if you are new. I'm uploading content on YouTube Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and also shorts every single day at around 6 to 7 p.m. GMT UK time. I've also got another channel, TJFX React. This channel is to do with other Forex content creators. I watch it, go over it, and give my opinion and my take on their content. Really do enjoy it. They are good YouTubers as well, so you should enjoy it too. Make sure to check that out. But with that being said, it has been your boy TJ. I appreciate the support that you're all showing. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.